Hi David. Um, after our little chat tonight, um, I did a bit of investigating and found this web page here. Let's see if we can get that out of the way there. So um, this is on forums.qrz and I found this uh, image uh, and also a bit of a rough model of Esnek underneath and they described uh, where the people went wrong in modelling it. They did wire three right the way across to the end whereas they should have broken it at this intersection and made two wires out of it. So I uh, basically took this picture and uh, knowing it's for two meters I just multiplied up the uh, each of the measurements by three um, and then multiplied by 2.54 to get these centimeters and mocked up a drawing similar to this one uh, with the new measurements I just kind of built it up so uh, let's show you what I did so this window here is the wires and, and as I said I multiplied uh, everything up by three um, as you build the wires it shows uh, the antenna image here which is pretty much the same as we um, we just looked at okay so you can kind of rotate the view around here but essentially um, this is a folded dipole around this a folded dipole around this circuit and then a loop all the way around down and then back around into the bottom of that. The red circle here is the feed point, that's where your coax attaches to. Um, and out this way is the Y, so that's north. Out this way is X, um, which would be east, and Z is up. I put the antenna, assuming it was on a post or a, a mast at 5 metres. So, uh, what's that, 5, 3, about 17, 20 foot. Um, so there we are. Um, let's get this back up. This is something half reasonable. So then what you can do is you can uh, run an SWR plot. I, I tell it from 49 megs to 53 megs with a resolution of 0 0.1 megahertz um, each square. You hit the button, she calculates, and it will come back um, with the SWR plot. So there's the SWR plot. Um, and at 50 ohms, it's usable from roughly here, so 50.4 megahertz to 51.6. So that's what 1.2. Megahertz bandwidth. I've centered it around six meters uh, SSB, or I intended to 50.6 megahertz because I'm assuming that's where you need to be. Now, here's where it becomes interesting if you put a ballon on it, um, say a two to one ballon, you can change that. Now, let me click through this a couple of times. You see, it lowers the frequency slightly and widens the bandwidth. Okay, so. The bandwidth now is, uh, shall we say, about there, 49.8 to 51.3. So it's, it's gone up from 1.2 1, 1 megs to 1.5 megs. And uh, bang on, 50.6 megs is the minimum frequency there. So that's where the lowest. Um, SWR point. So you could safely use that from uh, 49.8 to 51.3, probably without an ATU. Uh, obviously, it's much better to use it between the one and a half uh, uh, bandwidth of SWR. But if you're using a radio with an auto tuner or you're using a uh, uh, an ATU, an antenna tuning unit, you'll be able to pull that in anyway. So that's my assumptions. Um, on this drawing up here, there's wire numbers. 
and if I click on a wire here, no, if I hover over the wire it will pop up uh, the information about it. But, uh, it should be a way. Oh, well, I'm not driving very well. It's, uh, it's 20 to 12 and I'm tired. <laughs> but basically, if you want to know the wire lengths, I can hover over them. We can write them down. Um, <clears throat> um, this is a 15 millimeter copper pipe as well. So the thinner, um, well, not the thinnest, but the thinner uh, copper pipe rather than the, what's the other one, an inch and something. This is this is 15 mil, which is uh, I don't know what three quarter of an inch, something like that. What did I show us on the picture there? Uh, half inch pipe, I suppose. Yeah. So 0 0.5 times 3.54. Yeah. It's, it's half inch pipe in uh, non-metric terms. Uh, one more thing. What was I going to show you? The plot. Okay. So, oops. that's not how it looks just now. Let's go there. All right. Oh, no. Something seriously wrong. There was a nice neat plot just now. Oh, that's because the frequency's off. Put it down to 50 megs. Oh, still not right. Okay, this has changed slightly from my previous model. Let me let me show you uh, a different model. It has actually got a very nice uh, plot. I can correct this in a minute. But, um, let's move it. Screen David, yeah. Something's gone a bit tits up uh, when I change the height a bit. But, uh, I know that it was a uh, beautifully round plot just now, so let's go back and find another one. There we go. So that's a nice plot. Um, that's looking down on it from the sky. What do they call it? An eagle crapping on it. That's looking in, looking in sideways. Um, and if you take uh, an elevation slice, you make it 2D, it makes it easier to see. Uh, it's not a cloud burner. If it was a cloud burner, it would be occupying a lot of space up here. It's down here at 15 degrees, I think. What's that? 20, 20 degrees, yeah. So 15 degrees, look, it's, it's got reasonable gain sideways and it's not all going up into the clouds and that's what you need to know. All right, um, let's leave it at there. I can refine it a little bit, give you measurements if you need. Um, I hope that was informative. Okay, bye for now.